Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. So in today's video I'm going to be talking you through all of the products that I would repurchase if I lost my whole makeup collection. Now obviously I've got a lot to choose from. I have quite a large collection of makeup but these are the bits that I would immediately run out to get if something absolutely catastrophic happened and I lost everything. So I'm going to be talking you through the products that I would pick just for an everyday makeup bag, the bits that I would pick for just going to work, just slapping something on, being basic and just wearing something every day. But I will mention the products that I would then go out and repurchase if I wanted something for an occasion, if I wanted something for an event. Not that I ever go to events, but like, if I was going out to tea, if there was something special coming up and I wanted a different whatever it may be. So let's start with primers. I wouldn't necessarily go out and purchase a primer. I feel like the first thing I would purchase would be my skincare routine. Absolutely non-negotiable. I need my skincare routine. So that would be the first thing I would go and get. But for primers, I wouldn't necessarily go out and get a specific primer. If I felt like I wanted to, I would purchase the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I would, however, purchase it not in this shade. This is two, and this is perfect for me in summer, but it's currently not summer, um, so I would get shade one, just for my skin tone, but I wouldn't necessarily run out and get this straight off the bat. Um, the foundation that I would go and choose for an everyday foundation is this one, the Re Love Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. I wear this pretty much every single day. I mean, I've just shaken it up so that it's not like separated, like you have to shake it up because it's really liquidy, but I have the tiniest little bit left. I am going to have to go and repurchase another one of these. I will also say a lot of these products because if I lost all of my makeup collection, it would cost a lot to like get all of these products back. So the cost of the product is in my mind, like what would I choose if I had to repurchase everything that would be a very expensive trip to like Superdrug. So I would pick this, it's one of the cheapest foundations in my collection and genuinely one of my favourites. Um, then if I wanted something like the next one on my list, would be this one, the Sleek In Your Tone 24 Hour Foundation. I tested this very, very recently and I cannot stop using it. This, just on its own, is a really good medium to full coverage. And then this mixed in with the polyglutamic acid from the Inky List is a really good light to medium, like definitely more medium, but very natural looking coverage. Again, another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with, but the first one that I would pick would be the real love one so i'm just going to put a few drops of this onto my face and i wear this in the shade f3 i would also repurchase all of my makeup brushes i don't even know if i can get this one this is just one that i got free with a revolution order but i really really enjoy it it's like a duo fiber one and this one for like blending out foundation is really really beautiful and um, i would probably just repurchase like a set of Real Techniques brushes um, so that I had all of them because <laughs> genuinely I cannot live without my Real Techniques brushes. They're absolutely fantastic. So then for concealer, the first one that I would go out and repurchase would be this one, the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Concealer. Another one I've just been absolutely obsessed with recently. It just looks so beautiful on the skin and so so affordable so i'm just going to tap a little bit of this around my eyes i don't have any like blemishes or anything that i want to cover on the skin the second choice for concealer would absolutely be this one here the collection lasting perfection stretch concealer absolutely beautiful i'm just preferring the 17 one at the minute they're both beautiful but i think i would choose the 17 one over the collection one so for bronzer and blush, I would choose the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. And the blush that I have chosen is the Collection Glow Blush in Peach. These are just my most used like base 
um, colour, you know, bronzer and blush. These are my most used ones at the minute. I absolutely love how they look on the skin. The colours, the tones of them are perfect for me. I absolutely love them. My second choices would be the e.l.f. putty products, the bronzer in tan lines and the blushes. The first one that I would go out and repurchase would be Bora Bora and that's the really, really bright pink i absolutely love this shade works so so perfectly for me and then another two blush products that i wanted to mention were the mua blushed liquid cream blushes again absolutely love these so pigmented blends out so amazingly absolutely obsessed and i also wanted to mention the elf bite size face duos so i have the shade guava and what are you pomegranate i recently picked up pomegranate because i absolutely love guava i want to collect all of these because they're absolutely fantastic however i would pick up the glow blushes ahead of those ones the, these are just my favorite they have been my favorite for the longest time and i don't think that anything would come above these these will <laughs> I do believe these will always be my favourite so like I say I would use these base products um, but I just wanted to mention the other ones as well. I would also choose this powder so this is the Revolution 2-in-1 Loose and Pressed Powder so this is the new one the IRL one so it's got the pressed powder on the top and the loose powder underneath and um, it's not the most convenient packaging however this is the one that I would go out and choose over anything else. I will also just mention I swatched the IRL one against my Hydra Matte Powder and this was my favourite up until I tried this one. I swatched these on the back of my hand and actually the loose powder from the IRL is slightly luminous and I don't mean that in like a glittery chunky horrible way it just looks so flawless on the skin blurs everything but leaves your skin looking so nice and glowy i will apply this whilst i talk whereas the hydra matte is matte so i actually prefer the loose version of the irl i have been using this pretty much consistently for three weeks now since I tested it. It's absolutely beautiful and I have dry skin so I'm always very very scared and very skeptical of powders that claim to be like nice on dry skin, claim to be not drying and glowy and all of this stuff. This is a fantastic one. It doesn't feel heavy. It's so finely milled. And also, I don't find that it like shows up very, very white on the skin. I mean, obviously, I only have very fair skin, so I'm only testing it on my skin tone. But it does come up very, very white on the brush. But as you apply it and as you like blend it out, it doesn't stay looking like that. <laughs> I would say that the pressed powder, the one in the lid, is more matte and the loose powder underneath has this like very very soft luminous finish to it and I can't stop using it. This one over the Hydra Matte which was my previous favourite, this would be the one that I would go out and repurchase. So then I will go in with the bronzer and blush that I said about, so the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. If you are incredibly fair, like I am, this is the most beautiful undertone. It doesn't come off looking too much. It's a really nice amount of pigment and it's also a really, really great undertone. I find it's not too warm and it's not too cool. I can definitely like use this slightly under the cheeks to like contour a little bit but it's not too grey toned where it looks like I'm dead. <laughs> it's just a really great bronzy colour, blends out like an absolute dream but it also isn't too much. It's so user friendly and I need that because I go 
very very or I can go very very heavy handed with my bronzer and my blush and then the collection glow blush in the shade peach this would be the first one I would buy however I would repurchase every single shade of these I have all of them and I absolutely love them however this is I would say my most worn one my most used shade I absolutely love it it just makes your skin look so healthy like it's such a soft amount of glow it's not at all chunky or glittery I don't know how they've done it <laughs> I don't know what the science is behind this what the formula is however I'm just obsessed it just looks so soft and glowy <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful and then to add in even a little bit more glow I would immediately go out and buy this highlighter you can see how much I love this by how incredibly battered the packaging is but still like there's so much product left I don't know if I will ever get to the bottom of this highlighter it's absolutely beautiful this is the revolution highlighter reloaded in just my type I don't know why I looked then like if I don't know what it is it's my favourite highlighter of all time and that's why. It doesn't ever look chunky or glittery, it looks like I am glowing and obviously that is what I want. <laughs> this is the highlight that I wore on my wedding day and I would absolutely go out and repurchase this for my wedding day again. It's so pretty. So then for brows, it's no secret that I like to change up my brow products fairly regularly so I would just pick up whatever's cheapest honestly. I love this combination though, this would be like the combination I would go out and purchase first. So the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown, it's the perfect neutral undertone, it's not too cool, it's not too warm, it doesn't come off like gingery in my eyebrows because often when brow products are too warm it can just look straight up red on me because I've got such fair skin and then I would get the elf wow brow in brunette this combination gives me the perfect brows in my opinion so I'll be right back when I've got some brows on my head so then on to the eye products and this is where I have a few options and when I say a few options I mean a lot of options so if I wanted um, it just depends on what I want like on any particular day I use all of these products so regularly that these would be ones that I would go out and repurchase pretty much immediately so first up the Beauty Bay crayon eyeliners if I wanted to do like a smoked out wing which I do fairly regularly these would be the ones that I would go and repurchase, they're absolutely beautiful, they come in the most incredible colours, they have like a twisty up, you can scribble it on, smudge it out and then once it's set it is there, like it is not moving until you take it off. These are absolutely fantastic, if I wanted a liquid liner, which this would be one of the first things that I would go and repurchase because I wear this so often, the Profusion Everlasting Waterproof Liquid Liner, the best black liquid liner I have ever ever used desperate for profusion to come out with this in brown because it's absolutely beautiful and then for eyeshadow palettes I've got a small collection here so probably one of the first ones that I would go out and repurchase would be the elf bite size shadows because these are like four pounds I could get a couple and that would see me for quite a while I also really really love the new I Heart Revolution mini chocolate palettes these are absolutely beautiful really really rate these so highly especially for the price and I also rate so so highly the Profusion five shade little palettes these are absolutely incredible as well. I also will say, if I were to lose all of my makeup, I would obviously lose all of these little mini Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes. I would personally, now knowing what the formula is, I would repurchase all of the Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes, but I wouldn't get the mini ones, the nine pan ones. I would splurge and I would get the big ones, the 42 pan ones, because I have the bright one and I have the neutral one in the 42 pan 
and they are absolutely fantastic and I do feel like when I'm looking at the pictures online of like the midnight and the earthy and the berries when I look at the 42 pan one I'm like I really really wish I had that but I can't justify getting them because I have the nine pan but then like they're so different do you see what I mean? <laughs> I would repurchase the 42 pan if I didn't have these anymore. I would love to own all of the 42 pan ones because I think they're absolutely beautiful. But today I think I'm going to use the e.l.f. Bite Size palette in Hey Sunshine, the yellowy one, because I'm thinking I can do something that like matches my t-shirt. I've got like a blue dress on over the top, but I'm thinking something a little bit yellow, a little bit warm, and then probably some sort of wing. So I'll be right back once I've got all of my eyeshadow on. So I've done a little smoky wing moment just with that one palette. I feel like these bite-sized palettes are like a great all-in-one. You don't need anything else. You don't need any other colours to create a whole eye look. You can create various different looks just with the one tiny little palette. I feel like these are absolutely incredible. Then I'm just going to tap over, because I like a really bright inner corner, just going to tap over a little bit with that, just my type highlighter, just right on the inner corner. This is obviously optional. All of this is optional, uh, but I really enjoy having the same highlight on my face and on the inner corner. So I don't feel like I necessarily need a wing liner today, so I'm going to skip that step, but I would definitely repurchase this fairly quickly if I lost everything because I absolutely love that <laughs> eyeliner. Then for mascara, I have two that I want to talk about because I feel like they're very different and they create a very different look, which I like having the option. So first up is the Revolution 5D Whip lift mascara i really enjoy having very thick very clumpy dramatic volumized lashes and this is what i use when i want that however sometimes i want something a little bit more natural a little bit more lengthened and fluttery and not so thick and that's when i would choose this one the elf lash and roll this gives me the longest most natural looking wispy lashes whereas the 5d whip lift gives me also very long lashes but a lot thicker and a lot more dramatic so depending on what i wanted i would purchase both of these probably pretty much straight away i don't like depending on what i wanted on the day that i lost all of my makeup i would repurchase whichever I'm going to use the 5D Whip Lift today though because that's the vibe that I'm going for. So I'm going to layer up two layers of this and get some dramatic lashes. So that's the eyes done. I'm truly obsessed with this mascara. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. So for the lips, we all know what I'm going to say here. The Essence 8 Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liner in Rosy Nude. I have worn this every single day since I bought it. I don't actually know how much is left. Oh, I've still got, I've still got a lot left. Good. <laughs> I definitely want to go and pick up some more shades of this. I'm hoping that they have a red because I am in need of a really good red lip liner and this is my all time favourite lip liner formula. And this colour is just perfect for me as well. So I'm just going to draw on the lips. And then whilst I was there getting that lip liner, I would also pick up this lipstick. So this is the Essence Caring Shine Vegan Collagen Lipstick. This is in the shade 202 My Mind. And this is just the perfect nude for me. And it's also, it feels like a lip balm. It feels so lovely and hydrating, but also the color is beautiful. And this combination, I mean, you can see, this combination just works with every single look. It's nude and it's just nothing. It's not too much of anything. 
it just goes with absolutely everything so that would be my first lip combination however i have to mention this one here the sleek say it loud satin lipstick this is in gin and juice and look at that color just would you look at that color i cannot stop wearing this however i do need to find a lip liner that i can wear with this lipstick it's a satin lipstick but it wears all day like a matte lipstick however it's comfortable like a lip balm i want to get more shades of this because i think that this could be my favorite lipstick formula it's absolutely beautiful so so beautiful and i'd never tried sleek before before getting that foundation that i said about i'd never tried like a lot of sleek i'd maybe tried a few bits here and there but that lipstick has changed the game it's so so beautiful but i wouldn't necessarily wear a red lipstick every single day however a red lip with that profusion lip liner at uh, eyeliner do not wear that on your lips it will not come off wowzers <laughs> so that is all of the products that i would go out and repurchase if i lost all of my makeup collection let me know if any of the products that i've mentioned here would be ones that you would go and pick out as well let me know if you're going to pick up any of these products as always i will leave them linked down below if you are new here i would love it if you would subscribe i post three times a week minimum monday wednesday and friday however a lot of the time i am uploading extra ones as well because there's just so many new makeup products at the minute that i'm so inspired and i I just always want to be here filming and playing with makeup so if you want to see more videos from me you can subscribe down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up but until next time thank you ever so much for watching bye